Okay, step one for making your read aloud fix layout EPUB from InDesign is splitting the text from the artwork. Um, so this is important, lifting the live text from the base artwork. We've got a, a nice tool to do this very quickly and automatically using circular flow. So let me uh, show you how that's done. I'm just going to close that document and I'm going to launch circular flow. So circular flow will start up. And I'll go to my uh, InDesign document. So I'm going to start up with this uh, start document. This is just the regular InDesign document that's been used for the print version. And there's no need to prepare your images or uh, anything like that in, in any particular way. Um, Circular Flow handles how the images will be exported into the EPUB. Um, and we think we're better at doing that than uh, straight out of InDesign. So we would, uh, with Circular Flow, put the images onto a base layer and allow circular flow to handle the image compression. So with the live text tool, so with circular flow running, I go to the window live text tools panel and I'm going to click on this one, lift live text from base artwork. So this first button or the second button in this panel, by clicking on that, it's going to start to get to work and you can see what's happening. Actually, if I show you the layers panel in InDesign as well. So this is how circular flow works. It sort of works alongside InDesign and it talks to InDesign and um, it, it creates what it needs in terms of the files and the, uh, the layers that it requires. So any layer that starts with the FLO prefix, so flow base, for example, is a special layer and circular flow will uh, notice that and it will work on those graphics. Um, and when there's a layer called INDD live text, uh, we will use the live text that's output from InDesign. So this means you can use all of the, the text uh, and positioning and styling, etc., that you get in an InDesign EPUB, but you can also be using circular flow tools to add read aloud uh, animation, audio and video, etc. So it's read aloud that we're going to concentrate on in this video, and that's the first step pretty much done actually because if you can see here if I close this panel we've got a layer which has split the base artwork from the live text above it so that's step one done um, and we're gonna move on to step two